Hello, coming to you from Lahore, this is Indus News. I'm Wakar Rizvi. These are the top stories. We begin in Sudan. The leader of the military coup which toppled President Omar al-Bashir on Thursday has stepped down. Defense Minister Awad ibn Auf resigned to calm public anger against the military takeover. Police said that at least 16 people have been killed by stray bullets during recent protests and sit-ins in Khartoum. North Korea's Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un has said that he will only meet U.S. President Donald Trump again if he comes with the right attitude. According to North Korea's state media, Kim said that he will give the U.S. until the end of the year to decide. U.S. President Donald Trump has threatened to transfer illegal immigrants to sanctuary cities controlled by the opposition Democratic Party. Democrat mayors have criticized Trump's threats and said that their cities would welcome the immigrants. At least eight people have been killed by flash floods in Pakistan's South Waziristan tribal district. They were killed after torrents swept away a bus carrying a wedding party in the Khanqat area. Three people are still missing. And in football's Premier League, Newcastle United has beaten Leicester City by one goal to nil. Spanish striker Jose Perez secured victory with his first away goal of the season. Meanwhile, in France's Ligue 1, a match between Dijon and Amiens was suspended for five minutes because of racist crowd chants. That's all from me for the moment. Thanks very much for watching.